Hello, hello everybody, I'm here again and now it's going to be in English in honor to my intermediate and advanced students who always complain that I never record a video for them. So now it's for you. Of course, what I'm going to tell you is something very basic, but then not everybody knows. And if you're a teacher and is here, you can also use this tip to help your students. So hello one more time and I'm going to talk about the verb have. We all know that we use have to indicate possession. When you have something, you also have got something. So you could say, I have a brother, I have a sister, I have a car. But you could also say, I have got a brother, I have got a sister, I have got a car. And you could also make it shorter. Instead of saying, I have got, you can say, I've got. I've got a brother, I've got a sister, I've got a car. And for example, if you're talking about somebody else, she or he, because if I'm talking about me, I'm saying I have. If you're talking about she or he, remember you have to use has. So if I say I have a car, I can say she has a car. I could say he has a car. Or if I want to use the have got, I say she has got a car, he has got a car. About contraction, when I use have got, I say we've got, we've got. So I have got, I've got. But when I say she or he, she has got, he has got. In the contracted form, I use she's got and he's got. Sometimes elementary students get confused thinking that this apostrophe s means is. But of course, if you pay attention to the context, you're going to see that it has nothing to do with is. Because if I'm talking about have got, has got because of the got, you will know I'm talking about possession. But one thing that not everybody knows, even intermediate or some students who has a higher level of English, is that you can replace the words eat and drink for have. That's why we say have lunch, have dinner, have breakfast, have snack, I'm going to have pizza, I'm going to have some water. So, teacher, if you're here and you want to teach your students about the... Blah, gente, ao vivo é por causa disso. If you're here and you want to teach your students to use have and have got, one of the best things is to use with songs. Songs are wonderful. It's not because I love to sing, but songs are just wonderful. They're great. And I remember two songs that are good and are very simple to understand and to sing. Is that song that says, You've Got a Friend. One is from the cartoon Toy Story. that has Woody the Cowboy. Uh, the song begins with, You've got a friend in me. You've got a friend in me. You could say, I, you have a friend in me, you've got a friend in me. Another that also talks about friendship is that song. When you're down in trouble, the chorus says, uh, you've got a friend at the end. Another exercise is you could get sentences or songs that uses have or has and rewrite it using have got and has got. So, the more you practice, the more you will remember. It's all about practice. So, that was my tip for the day for you, teacher, for you, intermediate student. Even if you know this, at least you're here listening to English. And I'm available for lessons, for private lessons. If you want to practice your English, just contact me. And right now, I'm going to end this conversation because I have to do another one for my elementary students, of course, because they deserve to understand and to have the same lesson. So it was great to be here with you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.